Hello my friends, and welcome back. In today's video, we're going to be doing some more work on Como Rebi, the tiling window manager for Windows, which is written in the Rust programming language. This video is going to be a little bit shorter, and it is going to be a continuation of our series on the development of the Como Rebi status bar that you see up here on the top. So I've been running this um, and there are a couple of things that have been <laughs> bugging me. So I am going to, uh, yeah, I'm going to do something about those things that have been bugging me. Uh, there are a couple of new additions. Some people on the Discord uh, suggested that I try this thing called KeyWiz that you might see in the bottom left here. So whatever I'm doing, you'll see the keys that I'm pressing. And so you can see when I go to the different directions, when I switch workspaces. I think it looks pretty cool. Uh, and also I'm I'm trying, I'm not sure if it's going to be included in the final video, but I am trying to record the key presses to go along with that as well. So uh, we'll see when we're editing how that actually turned out. Uh, so uh, thing number one that has been bugging me. Uh, if I click on RAM, it's gonna bring up the task manager but then the the thread gets blocked here and then this is not this is not great this is definitely not great so we gotta fix this uh so you can see once the ui thread stops being blocked that goes back to normal um what else i think if you if you do alt tab you'll also see this coming up here so we definitely want to get rid of that um, and honestly, I, th <laughs> I think the, the usage is, is pretty high. Um, well, actually this is running a dev build, but yeah, we'll, we'll try and get that down a little bit. So, um, maybe we start with, uh, with this. So we will do with task bar false. And I believe this is the one whether show or hide the window icon in the taskbar okay I'm, I'm pretty sure that's the one and then the next thing that we want to do is stop the ui thread from hanging so um output no this one so i believe this okay why don't we just read it instead of saying what i believe this executes the command as a child process waiting for it to finish and collecting all of its output so this is this is not what we want in this case what we want to do is we want to spawn a thread right uh and this will execute command as a child process returning a handle to it which is a non-blocking operation so actually I'm going to go to everywhere where we call command new and I think it's just two places for now and we're going to change that to spawn. Very nice, very nice indeed. Um, and okay, another thing is that, all right, in order to have the seconds here, right, we are calling time. Um, we're calling the time widget and every time we, we lay this out, we request a repaint. And this is like, this is just hammering. Like we need this to repaint the seconds once a second, like max, right? So I'm going to run this actually as a release build. It's going to be a little bit more time compiling, but once the compilation is done, we should get a better idea of the the CPU and the memory usage. And then we can do we can do a little comparison. We can do a tiny little comparison. Um, I did want to make some more widgets. Um, maybe I'll do it later. I don't have that much time to record today, but like. It's, it's freaking Sunday. I gotta go to work in the morning. I know I'm gonna be busy at work this week. I'm not gonna have time 
to to really work on this more uh, during the week. So I figured, you know, baby steps, baby steps. Let's just do what we can and go from there. So uh, I made two changes. So now when I alt tab, it doesn't come up anymore. That's great. And now we're going to have the RAM open. We are going to look at Comal Rebi bar and like, yeah, a lot of CPU usage when it starts up. Uh, okay, so this is the cargo overhead. This is what we're looking at, Comal Rebi bar. And it's like, you know, it, it should not be anywhere near this. And basically whenever, whenever this request repaint is called, it, it's doing the whole song and dance. So we, we got a couple of optimizations to make here, I think. Um, so first things first, we'll get rid of this. And instead, what we'll do is we will create another thread here. We'll do standard thread spawn move. Open up a scope and OK, so this is actually context. We'll call this context one and we'll call this context two and we'll move context two into here and we'll do ctx to uh, request repaint and we'll do standard thread sleep duration from seconds and I, I think this is a bit better right um So I think actually I can do this because that will have already been moved. Um, so CTX repainter and this is the context for the Komorebi listener. We'll call it context Komorebi. Cool. Um, all right, so that's one thing. And then to, to reduce that CPU usage, that was super high. So uh, let's take a look at the widgets one by one. This is just calling local time now and then running it through a format string. I think that's okay. Um, this, we're getting stuff from the session manager. Uh, I mean, I think that's okay. The, the main ones I'm, I'm worried about are memory and storage. So let's take a look at memory first, because right now, even now, every single second, we're going to be querying the memory state like the ram percentage that is being used right we're calling refresh memory on every single um context request repaint and by the way do not forget in eGUI a repaint happens like whenever you go over this like it's, it's constantly being repainted so that's refreshing the memory a whole a whole bunch of times many many times a second so why don't we in our memory have a last updated and this is going to be an instant. And here we can set that instant to, oh, sorry, last updated instant to be now. And then yeah then we can do self dot last updated uh no i think i want to do this the other way around so i'll do instant now duration since the earlier right is it did i get that right duration since the earlier instant which is self dot last updated and let's say 
let's say 10 seconds i think is is enough so if the duration since last updated is greater than duration from 10 seconds then we can refresh the memory otherwise Mm. So I think we need to pull refresh on this at least once, otherwise it's not going to do anything. So we'll, we'll refresh the memory here. Yeah, okay, so this is like our constructor basically. So... Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. So we'll create the system object, we'll refresh the memory, then this will... Oh, okay, we forgot a very important thing here. Self.LastUpdated is gonna be... Um, now. Right, and we can do like a little debug to, to show that this is working. Um, well, let's just do a print line. Do I have a logger? I don't think I've set up logging. All right, we'll just do a print line for now. Um, refreshing memory info. Cool. Uh, and I'm gonna pretty much copy paste this for the storage because, like, you don't need to know like you just you don't need to know that often um all right let's put that there uh, we can just import this use this is standard time instant yeah and in our storage, we're also going to want a last updated, which is an instant. Um, and so actually, let me, let me get this up running now that so we have something to compare against. So like we're, we're setting it like four to, you know, it goes down, it goes up, right? But like by doing a bunch of this like I can drive that up to a whole bunch of percent so um, standard time duration in there as well and same thing right so we're gonna when we create our storage widget uh, disks we have new with refreshed list so we don't need to do a manual refresh refreshing disk info and so now these will up to, so this will be drawn like whenever whenever request repaint is called either manually by us uh, and by the way it's also called down here so after we send a notification with the latest uh Komorebi state then we also re we call request repaint and that's why if i do alt and two it already knows to update here, yeah, right? And Altum 1, it already knows to update. That's because as soon as we get that notification, as soon as we get that notification, we are requesting repaint. So that is how that goes. Um, yeah, I think this is a decent amount of stuff. Uh, let's see, let's see how well it works together. Uh, let's see if it compiles first, and then we'll see how well it works together. Um, okay, so... That's not really doing the seconds for us, unless I move. You know what, do we even need seconds? Do we even need seconds? Uh, well, anyway, we can see the, the memory info here is, is refreshing. Um... But my guy, oh, this needs to be in a loop. What am I doing? What is wrong with me today? There we go. That's what we wanted. All right, let's, let's recompile that. I was like, what the hell? Why isn't it updating the seconds? We need to run this in a loop, not just once. 
Okay, so the seconds are updating. That's good. Um, the seconds are updating, and this should only happen every 10 seconds. So even though I'm like doing stuff to trigger re um, redraws, repaints, we should only be querying every every 10 seconds. Yeah, I'll I'll take that. I'll take that. Uh, let's see, where are we? Much better. Much, much better. Look at that, we got that memory usage down from like 11% to zero freaking percent. I love it. Uh, I love it. Let's see if maybe we can get this, um, uh, this memory usage down a little bit in the future as well. Um, I asked, who did I ask? I asked a bunch of people on the Komorebi Discord uh, to give me some numbers for like Zbar's memory usage and Yasp's memory usage, I think. Should I should have made a note? I think it was like between 80 to 100 megabytes memory usage for Zbar, and I didn't get an answer yet on Yasp, and there's so many forks out now. Um, but you know, I, I think we're already, we're looking really good for both CPU usage and memory usage, but I think we can bring this down a little bit because like if you, like the Komorebi memory usage right now is, is 23, but I guess this is like a whole GUI, I don't know, uh, I don't want I, I don't want to get bogged down in this, you know. But it, it would be nice just to, to bring that down. A tiny, a teeny, a teeny weeny bit. A teensy weensy bit. Um, yeah, so, oh my god, that's already 15, 16 minutes. Uh, I guess we should, I guess we should wrap this up and I should go and get my stuff ready to go to work in the morning. Oh man, work in life. Working life never ends. So, in the next video, what do I want to do? Um, it's like I, I don't have a Windows laptop, right? But I know that everybody who uses this stuff on a laptop, they want to have like a battery charging percentage thing here. And uh, I guess probably a, a really simple network widget. Um, I'm, I'm thinking just something that will just show you if you're connected or not, if you're connected to Ethernet, if you're connected to Wi-Fi, and then when you click it, it will bring up like the, what is it, NCDA, NDCA, whatever the network thing is, it will bring up the network thing, like the old school, the useful one. The one that, that actually works. Uh, yeah, so next video, hopefully before, <laughs> hopefully before next weekend. Oh man, stuff is slowing down. But it's not my fault. It's just life. It is just life. Alright, so why don't we say thank you to the sponsors and wrap on up. We're going to start as always from the right to the left. Thank you to David, thank you Thomas, Chris, Andy, Timothy, private sponsor number one, Azeen, James, Pavel, Felipe, private sponsor number two, Cody, Um, Nia, uh, Harold, uh, PJHFGGIJ, Hyro, DM1681, Darian, uh, Kwong, uh, Shorefire, Solomon, private sponsor number three, Kilroy, my boy, uh, Evan, Quilt, Alex, and of course, the OG original sponsor of Komorebi, Mr. Hisayuki Mima. Thank you all so, so very, very much, my friends. It is deeply, deeply appreciated. If you too would like to become a sponsor, if you'd like to become a member of the peoplehood of the sponsors, uh, just head on over to the sponsor page. That's all you got to do. Uh, you can be a one-time sponsor. You can be a monthly sponsor. You can set your own amount. $5 a month is appreciated. 
um but honestly even a dollar a month makes a huge difference uh yeah if however if however you are not in a position to become a sponsor just make sure that you have hit subscribe on the youtube channel uh, the youtube channel is monetized uh, which means that whenever you watch the videos skip the ads interact all that good stuff uh, we get a little bit of ad revenue it's a really easy passive way for you to financially support the project and i believe i believe we are on track for our first payout of 100 dollars which is the minimum they don't give you any money until you hit 100 dollars uh, but we're on track to get that before the end of the year if my calculations are correct uh, so do make sure that you are subscribed all right my friends uh, i hope that you enjoyed this episode i hope that whatever you all do today you have a great great day pre-Palestine, my friends, and I'll see you all back here next time.